everyone so today I'm going to be showing you how I got this look right here this was very much inspired by Erin Parsons makeup artist the look that she did on Gigi Hadid this look right here I'm pretty sure everyone and their mom has seen this look because it's just so beautiful and eye-catching and amazing Erin Parsons said that she was inspired by the graffiti of New York City and I love that concept because I love New York City and the colors and the people and buildings so I totally can see where she got that idea from so I did this look right here as a recreation a while back on Instagram and a lot of people on Insta were asking me to do a tutorial on it so I thought why not, thought it would be really fun so here we have it. I use primarily this palette right here which is a masquerade palette by Juvia's Place. I think it is such a beautiful palette. It is full of so many amazing colours as you can see. They're so pigmented and rich and stunning and they're really buttery and easy to blend. It's also an independent, black-owned, woman-owned business, which I think is very important to support independent businesses like this. And this palette itself celebrates the festivities and culture of Africa. So I just think it's amazing and really cool and conceptual. And so this is it right here. It's pretty well loved as you can probably tell. So if you've been on the fence about buying it, then maybe this tutorial could help you decide on whether or not you need it. I think you do. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to me if you want to see more. And thank you all so much for your support. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I just have my base on. What I used was this Mecca Cosmetica. Um, it is a lip from within illuminating primer. It's amazing. I love this stuff. And then I went in with Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick. I love this stuff. It turns out um, really beautiful on camera, obviously, because it's HD. So I really love it. It's really good for flash photography. And now I'm going to prime my eyes once again using the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. Okay, so the first colour I'm going to be using is out of this Venus palette by Lime Crime. And it is this colour right here, Rebirth. And I'm using this Soeva 221 um, Luxe Soft Crease. So as you can see, that colour is really concentrated um, just under where the brow starts. Um, yeah, and you just kind of want to blend it out. So the effect I want is just a really kind of light saturation of colour. Um, and I find it's best to apply with a long hair brush like this. Now I'm going to drag that colour out throughout the crease. So this is what I have so far. This is intense. When I do eyeshadow looks like this, I like to slowly build the colour up. I don't want to go straight in. I want to really slowly build. And flicking motions like this is really good for when you want that faded effect. Alright, so I'm pretty much happy with how that curl... Curl? Coral shade is looking. I 
I'm now going to go in with a pink. So this is the Juvia's Place Masquerade palette. It's so huge. <laughs> it's bigger than my head. Um, um, but I'm gonna go first in with Bori. Bori. I hope that I'm pronouncing these words right. And I'm using the same uh, brush as I did for the coral because I really want it to kind of blend in all together. So I'm just kind of concentrating that pink in here to kind of marry into the coral. I'm going to be using this Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer and I'm going to be using Zobu. Okay, now that I'm happy with the Zobu colour, I'm going to go in with Makita. Overlapping the Zobu. So I put um, Zobu under Makita because it makes it really pop. So as you can see, when I close my eyes, there is a little bit of a halo effect happening and that's because I'm leaving it there for the blue. Um, but for now, I'm actually going to move on to kind of like the bottom lash line and I'm getting that Rebirth Coral Colour and putting that under here like so. So don't worry if there's a little bit of fallout, um, it's going down a little bit lower than what I wanted but that's okay because I haven't put concealer on yet so when I do that it will just clean everything up. Now going in with Makita which is that beautiful shimmery purple colour that we put on the top of our lids and going to put that down here to join up with that part. So now I'm going to be using this colour right here, Zola. It's so pretty. And I'm going to just concentrate that in the gaps that we've left. Fading it up, like you can see that. Using the Makita shadow just to kind of blend it all in, just to blend it all in. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some concealer now to just clean up the bottom. And this is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Apply some on my nose as well. I'm being really careful not to stuff my eyeshadow up. I've never blended so slowly before. <laughs> I'm usually like... And I'm using Maybelline Lash Sensational. Erin 
Parsons didn't use um, false lashes on Gigi. So I'm contemplating whether or not I'm going to use any. But I don't think I will because on Instagram when I posted it, I did use false lashes. So I'm thinking maybe I'll just, you know, switch it up. I think it's even more editorial when you don't use lashes. Generally, they don't use lashes with looks like this. But I'm going to pack this on. I like to kind of coat my lashes first and then brush them out. This is such a fun look. So from the photos that I saw of Erin Parsons makeup look on Gigi Hadid, she was not using a brow bone highlight. Um, she used a bit of a matte colour or maybe she didn't use anything, I don't know. But I'm going to be using Makeup Geek Features and Cream and apply that just to kind of clean up the shadow. Not for a highlight, it's just a blend. So now I'm going to be using Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is like glue for your eyebrows. I love it. I don't think I'm going to be doing anything to my brows apart from brush them up. Because that's how Gigi has hers. I'm using Kat Von D's Shade and Light Palette. I'm using this middle shade right here who's texting me I have a lot of texture on my cheeks right now from an eczema flare-up um, I have suffered with eczema for my entire life I've spoken about it on Instagram before if you do too you're not alone it sucks and when it interferes with makeup it's the worst It's time to highlight. I'm going to be using Prosecco Pop from the Champagne Glow Palette, Jaclyn Hill and Becca Cosmetics collab. And I'm going to bring the highlight up to where I uh, brought the eyeshadow down to. It's such a gorgeous um, gold shade. I love it so much. I'm going to chuck some blush on as well. This one right here, it's called Rosé Spritz and just pop that on my cheeks. I'm going to be using this Colourpop Lippy Stick. I don't actually know the name of it and it's scratched off. I'm trying to remember. I'm sorry, but it looks like this. <laughs> it's kind of like a taupey nude. I don't like it. I don't know her. That's cancelled. I'm going to be using this Maybelline uh, Tantalizing Taupe Nude Shade. Um, just added some highlight on my cupid's bow. Um, that Milk Sip Lip Look. Okay, maybe I overdid it a little bit. Just a tad. I'm going to just 
kind of brush the excess away. But after all, this is an editorial look. So we're not going to dull it down too much. <laughs> and I'm using the Lime Crime Aura shadow right here. And I'm just going to add some on my nose. My cheekbone. Okay, so now I'm going to finish off this look using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray. Feels so good. Okay, so that's it. If you got to the end, thank you so much and I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like the video. And yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!